Welcome back, everyone. I'm Crane Bramp. You're all Brainiacs, and this is episode 11 of Herbs Herbs, where we're bud tenders, crash out on the rim, just really hoping for some good herb and to be left alone and maybe even make a little money on the side. So quite a bit has happened between episodes and then again, not. Mainly, we've just gotten a bunch of work done is the big thing. Uh, however, we've got some research done. Our hospital research is done which is a good thing, which means we can start working on our hospital. But the primary reason that I stopped is we actually have a quest called the Shame of Dullahan. A 44-year-old actor named Dullahan is calling from nearby. She's begging to join you at Gervin, and there's some kind of a threat following Dullahan, but she's unwilling to say what it is or when it might follow. She's also unwilling to tell you more about herself, and that sounds like just something we wanted our colony. So Dullahan, welcome on in. I don't care what you got following you. I don't care really uh, anything about you. Just come on in, man. Grab a smoke leaf, join over there, and everything will be okay. Also, we have a combat trader out here that I want to talk to. So I'm going to go on and get someone to do that. We're going to pull everybody in for now, just in case, because we do know that we have something coming after Dullahan. We're just not sure what. So let me speed this up. Let me check with the combat trader. And, uh, well, someone, I ask you to trade with the trader, please. Thank you very much. All right, so we've sold a good bit of other stuff. I have a, some new auto sell bills. We'll talk about those in a minute. But the primary thing I wanted to get out here for was because he was a combat supplier, and we just really don't have that many good weapons right now. I am used to playing on my Twitch uh, a lot with Twitch integration, which means that I get lots of raids from chat which means that a lot of times I've got really good loot pretty early game. I don't have that here. So we're going to have to start making some money. That's what the auto sell we'll talk about. And I'm also uh, grabbing an assault rifle and an XR carbine. And what we'll do is we'll grab, let's see here. Let's get Ginger. We'll give her the XR carbine. And Willie Mae, you can have that assault rifle so you can get those EMP grenades out of your hand. All right, so uh, before we get started, I appreciate y'all stopping by, hanging out with the community, watching the vid. Would appreciate a like and subscribe. Uh, if not, well, hope I earn one by the end of this video. So let's check out what's been going on. We finished our utility columns. A robot trader came by. Uh, we really didn't buy anything. A prosthesis trader, a uh, more pristine runes found nearby. The bulk goods trader was a really good run. I'll put a picture of it up. We actually sold and got a bunch of silver and stuff. And I do want to uh, point out, I said that the robotics trader came and there wasn't much. We actually got rid of our crafter bot one and got another crafter three. So now we have a four and two threes. I move these over here because this is going to be the crafting room. We'll also talk about all this planning here in a minute, but I hope to start moving some stuff over there today. So... Uh, exotic Goods Trader didn't have anything. Uh, this may be the Robot Trader that I bought the crafting one from, but one of them. We finished our Circuit Breakers. We need to talk about power. Uh, Gray had a Corpse Obsession, which is just, ugh. Went and dug somebody up and came and, like, put them on the, uh, the visitor's table over here and was like, look, it's a dead body. I'm like, really? Anyway, uh... We found another ancient danger. This one is over here. We were mining out steel. We've still got quite a bit of stuff to mine out. I've been trying to keep everybody unrestricted between episodes so they can get out and do that. Uh, also, I bought a crap load of steel because we're going to need tons and tons and tons of it. And then we got that gold to go along with it. That's primarily because we need to start working on our ship. Uh, hospital beds done, vital monitors done, uh, the combat supplier that we just talked about, Dullahan joined. Let's go on and do, uh, Dullahan's work. I'll be right back with you. Um, not a ton of stuff. She is a cook, though, so I have assigned Dullahan to cooking. Of course, wardening so that they can help with breaks and stuff. And just put a three fabrication, three stone cutting and all that stuff. Doesn't look like she does dumb labor, so no crawl, no loading or anything, but I'll, I'll always take a, uh, a good cook to do stuff. Talking about cooks and bills and everything else, let's talk about what happened in between. Obviously, I bought the crafter bot. Uh, we got rid of the level one that we had. We started... Uh, there's freaking gray with the freaking corpse again. Um, <laughs> that threw me off. Uh, 
So we uh we bought two crafter bots. We started getting our first guests in, and then I started working on bills and trying to get them straight. So we've I've gone through and fixed as much of the medicine as I can, and we are making stuff now. Uh, I've got the wake up production going, which was messed up because we weren't making yayo, which means we're going to have to wait on psychoid leaves. But all this is set up. So we've got like wake up yayo. We've got ramoxicillin, detoximin, uh, and all of this stuff has already been put on our drug uh, policy. So if you'd like to see what it is, here it is. I'll scroll through it slow. You can pause it if you want to take a look. Anything that has an addiction percentage is every two days or sometimes every three. And only if mood is below about 50%. Uh, I've also got stuff like fruit juice on here that they can use for happiness. Uh, we've got Yayo every three days, Psychic Tea every three days. I'm not going to do Wake Up and Go Juice until we do Bionic so I can get everybody some uh, Bionic Hearts in so they don't get all stressed out. Uh, vegetable broth is every day, antibiotics every four days, detoxment every two days. This is according to whatever the whatever the description says. Um, we've got uh, fruit drinks. Uh, they can do that every day. Garden tea, garden coffee. We've got cigarillos, um, aspirin, Rimzac to help with breaks. Just, just all kinds of stuff. So if you'd like to pause it and take a look, we're also going to do uh, ramoxicillin too, probably. So... I want to make sure that all of this is done. All right. Uh, we also, we fixed all the medical bills. I re-enabled smoke leaf training since we have those three crafter bots now. Uh, smoke, leaf, smoke leaf trimming, my bad. And I also started making hemp fiber. I've got a, uh, so I changed the bills for cloth to do, to weave cloth forever because we had a backup of like, Three or four thousand cotton fibers, so I want to make sure that we're using those. We also have got a number of things uh, that I need to do, but I want to show you the auto sell. Basically, I did a bill for drugs that if it's over a hundred, we're gonna sell it. So a hundred should keep enough in stock for plenty for us for everything that we're doing, and then everything that we create create over that will go on and sell. We still have the art thing down for the sale. Uh, we are, I did work on and fix our meal bills. They were messed up. The, uh, the vegetarian meals were not doing properly. So basically what we're doing is we're doing simple meals for ourselves, And then things like we have a manhunter pack that showed up. That's fine. Actually, you know what? We can even just unpause that. I wonder what they are. Oh, some woolly rhinos. Interesting. Um, well, there is a trader down here. I guess we could watch the fun for a minute. I was going to say we didn't even have to do anything. Uh, but why don't we watch the fun with the trader? Hmm. I was hoping for a little bit more carnage than that, but... You know, that's fine. We'll go... Actually, why don't we go on and do the kill box and home so they can go out to the kill box and select these guys. And then we'll just do a finish off for what's left. These are traitors, and I believe they're, yeah, they're allied with us, so I can't strip them. If they die, we'll get them. And unfortunately, the pack mules were fine. So, uh, also, you're going to see quite a bit of the smoke leaf addiction. We have... Uh, smoke leaf industry reborn in and the quote unquote smoke leaf addiction is handled far differently in it and it's actually got a lot of benefits so i'm not too much worried about that uh i'll probably ignore most of those so uh anti-social for mirror uh corpse obsession we have a flirting frenzy uh visitors i also did a trade printer but i'm probably going to disable it because i'm just getting so much stuff uh and a shaman merchant showed up so what do we need to do today? There are actually a number of things. I would like to start assigning some roles out for our ideology uh, because that'll help with our mental break some. So I've gone on between episodes and just made like 
um, the cape and the, the broad wrap and the, the Cetalor hat and all that good stuff. So Colabar is going to be our Cetalor. Sherrod is going to be our Cybermine, which is our leader. And someone plays something will be our moral guides. We can go on and start selecting these guys out. So this is Sherrod. I mean, someone plays something and they are going to be our moral guide. And go on and set it up and they will do the ceremony and someone plays something will be our new moral guide. Ah, uh, we praise you. We praise you. Thank you for that. Uh, solar flare and no power, of course. I guess we'll finish the rest of that uh, here in a little while. So since we're on a solar flare anyway, I've got some mining that I want to do. Let's talk about these planning areas down here. So let me go on and mark these out. The T is going to be our throne room for our royalty. The I is going to be our ideology room, basically our ritual room. The K is going to be our kitchen. And I'm going to go on and make some holes here so that we can actually finish this. The H is going to be our hydroponics. And then finally, F is going to be our freezer. And P is going to be our power. And we got a bunch of plants dying because it's cold. Oh, because of the solar flare. All of our heaters and stuff are off. Yeah, that, that makes sense. So it'll be a minute before... Man, it's negative 14 degrees outside. That is not good. Anyway, the builder bots will work on that. Our power is back on. Unfortunately, that will have killed a whole bunch of our hydroponics. So uh, we do have an area revealed. We're going to get a bunch of those as we go through here. Uh, so what I want to work on now is I want to finish the rest of our roles. That would be really nice. So Sherrod is going to be our cyber mind. So assign role. You are our leader. Go on and begin this. Oh, great leader, Sherrod. We make you our leader. Will you teach us about smoking smoke leaf? The moral guy said it's okay. So we need you to throw the parties, buddy. That's what we need. All right, well, congratulations, Sherrod. You are now that... Look, everybody is so stoned. They're just laying on the ground. Smokey, that is such a appropriate name. And then finally, we have someone plays something. Uh, oh, no, we already got that. We need uh, Colabar. Where are you, Colabar? And you are going to be our Cetalore, which is our plant specialist. There we go, man. All of that is done. All right, things are looking good. Uh, this is going to be a battery room down here. I've gone and done that. Um, so we need to finish mining all this out. This is finally done so we can start doing uh, our beds. This is going to be our... I haven't really decided I was going to make this like our barracks because it's so big. Oh boy, Tui's got an encapsulated path, uh, pathogen caused by muscle parasites. So fun. Uh, let me see, we got some gifts. Uh, another combat supplier. I don't want to spend... I don't know, we got 14 grand. I guess we'll get someone to go up there and check. So uh, we got the role change, a uh, party, and then a relationship. All right, so we're selling a bunch of stuff. We got 8,200. I picked up all of the components that he had. Once we start doing uh, crafting today down in the crafting room, if I got a medical emergency, I make you a bet that's somebody's muscle parasites, probably. Uh, we're selling some fruit drink and a few other things. I also sold him all of these uh, organs. It looks like he has some fairly decent weapons. Let's grab... I know the charge lance is decent. Um... And then, wow, that's really about it. I guess we'll take this Crucible Carbine, because that's about the only other thing I see on there that's worth anything. I mean, the EMP launcher is okay, but it doesn't do any damage, so... All right, well, we'll go on and accept that, and then we'll take... Who's the next person in line? 
So Quinn is actually a shooter, and then we will put Dullahan on the Crucible Carbine. And yeah, it's Mirror. Mirror's pretty... Why is Mirror's got life-threatening malnutrition? Where are you at? Can somebody go... Wow. Can, like, somebody go rescue Mirror, please? I don't know why y'all have left her out there until she's almost dead, but I would appreciate it if you would take her back and feed her and make sure that she doesn't die. If she does, I'm going to be a little salty about the fact that she starved to death in a colony with 83 days worth of food. But anyway, uh, I'm going to speed this up. I'm going to start moving some of this crafting stuff down here and let these guys start working on mining and stuff. So guys, I'll see you on the other side of the speed up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have more insects, man. I, I'm going to tell you what, man. One of the things that we need to do today, uh, hopefully this episode, I've got it written down, is get some bills set up for Concertina Wire because the problem with insects is that they rush the walls and... Honestly, that can be hard to defend against. So let's get everybody new that's down here. How are we doing? Uh, I mean, that's okay. But not exactly. Of course, the only time that Colby is available for me to wake up, he has a mental break and go hides in his room because he's drowsy. Really, Colbeer? I mean, come on, man. <laughs> All right, let me spread these guys out a little bit. And then we'll go on and save their defensive position. Make sure that they're always set to run and gun. And uh, yeah, let's, let's kick back and see how this goes.
right, not bad, not bad at all. Let's go on and grab these guys, let them go. Uh, let's mark these guys for a finish off. Anybody that's left, we'll go on and put ourselves, whoops, to the kill box so they can go on and do those finish ups and everything. All right, so let's talk about what happened in between Mira died. I am, oh man, I am so just so I, I don't know not upset but just i'm so done with colonists dying uh i have no idea what she was doing malnutritioned i think she dropped out there and then maybe i didn't see the alert in time i don't know i mean it's my fault obviously i'm in control of the colony so anyway uh let's go on and get our concertina wire now concertina wire let's do make 10 concertina wire let's put that at the top uh, let's do it until we have uh, probably 100 in stock will work. Uh, go on and copy that and then paste that linked over there and move it to the top. All right, so once we get the concertina wire put in, we're going to put some concertina wire barriers up here so that they have a harder time getting through. It's almost like barbed wire. It slows them down. You can do a, uh, a barrier where they can't get through at all, or you can do... I forget what it, the non-barrier is called, but it's basically, it slows them down rather than stopping them completely. And that's usually what I use. And a lot of times you can lay them out and they'll almost obey them like walls rather than crossing them. So uh, also I made this up here. Uh, this is going to be a clear all. We're going to do lavish vegetarian meals up here. Those are going to be critical. Uh, copy and put that in here. That is going to be for... Uh, our guests. We also need a table up here. So what I'm going to do is just do a simple linkable slate table. We're going to do it just like that. And then once that gets done, I don't think I can do it now. And I forget where it's at. There it is. We're going to do a cash register. Yeah, I have to wait for the for the tables to be built. And then when, once we make the actual cash register, then we're going to set all of our food and everything else up that we can do. So there's at least one table. Uh, where is the cash register? I never can find it, man. I, I'm half blind most of the time, so. And I think we're going to do it. We'll do it out of Synthalene. That's fine. All right, so we'll put it right there. And then what it ends up happening is we're going to end up, once that's in, we can set in our hospitality. We can go on and set us up an area. So let's uh, let's do an area, and we're going to call this the new area. We're just going to call it guests. It's simple enough. It's really the bed and breakfast. But um, So the area of accommodation, I may have to reopen that. Oh, I have to wait until there's actual guests here before I can do that. So when they arrive, we'll take care of that. Uh, these guys are here, but I don't think we need anything. Also, we finally got our fab bench up and running, uh, which includes our assembly bench. So I'm going to do some component bills. We're going to do these until we have, I don't know, let's say 100 of these in stock or somewhere around in there. So let me do these bills. I'll be right back. All right, those are all set up and appropriately skill capped to whatever their stuff is. So we'll start making our own components now, which is, of course, a big deal. Uh, so I believe that that is about it for the moment. We need we still need the concertina wire. Uh, we've got a number of things to do. Also, I want to do a medical freezer today. And also, you know what? We can go on and start doing that now. Let's disassemble these. Let's move our heater. Um, it can go down here. And then we're going to put in wherever... Man, my, my brain is just not working today, man. Can't find anything on the menus. Thank you, Lag, for letting me misplace that. Uh, so we're going to do this just like we do beds. Except I never can see... Oh, man, I always forget these need to be one away from the wall. Same as the other beds, because I have to put stuff near the head of these to make them work. So the reason I do it like this is because linkables and IVs and stuff like uh, um, 
end tables affect two beds, so you can plop them down in the middle of this. And for these, instead of dressers, although you can do dressers and nightstands to increase the, uh, what do you call it, the comfort level, uh, we are actually going to do surgical lamps on top, surgical items on the bottom, these in the middle, and then we're going to leave a space uh, also in the middle, and we're going to do a vital center in the middle. So we're going to need one space at the head, but I'm going to make these a little bit, yeah, a little bit farther apart. Um, I may have to change this door to, like, satisfy my OCD for symmetricality, but... Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to. So this needs to, like, say, put down there, probably. I'll leave that open for the moment. And then we're going to have that. We're going to have IVs in between these. I need to check our research and make sure that we actually have... Yeah, so we have surgical instruments. Did I put the lamp on here? I did not put the lamp on here. So surgical... Can you please stay up there? Surgical lamp will go back behind here. Right now we're doing bionics, bionics surgical instruments, surgical lamp, biosculpting, and bioregeneration. So people will stop breaking because of the, uh, um, the horrific aging and stuff. Advanced fabrication and advanced bionics. So yeah, we got a quite a bit to do. I'm going to speed this up and kick back and let this run for a minute. And I will see you guys on the other side of the speed up. All right, guys, it has been a while. Nothing's really happening. We're still mining this stuff out down here, but episode's running a bit long. And I wanted to go on and start setting people up uh, for their dining and shifts and so on. So we're not going to allow colonists to come over here and eat. And we're going to clear all. And we're just going to do lavish, if I can spell. We're going to do vegetarian lavish meals. Price for guests is going to be 250% because this is an upscale establishment. 
And then as far as assignments, I need to take a look over here and make sure that I've got all of our uh, people set to entertainment and wait. So give me just a second. All right. So for our shifts, we are going to have a single shift. So let's get rid of that one. And we are going to assign uh, Murky. So these are basically all of the people that I have assigned to wait staff that actually have passions and decent skill in it. So they will start working at, say, so that's nine to five. I think that's a pretty good one. Actually, we might do a second shift. All right, so we've got two shift. We've got Ordonius, Squaro, Dulhan on the first shift, someone Murky, Tui, and Willie May on the second shift. And then all we have to do is select these tables and click these for dining. It'll put some flowers out on the table and our guys will actually sit here and wait on people to come take their order. They'll order this and then uh, we'll make money every day from it. And so uh, Mirror did die. I, I may not have talked about it. I think I did, but I am just... Yeah, I'm, I'm just really salty about that. Got some masterworks from the beds down there. Uh, combat supplier came by. This is a textile trader leaving in four hours. We'll get someone to go on up there. Uh, some more masterwork. Uh, a robot trader came in. I didn't stop because we really didn't need anything. I mean, we could upgrade our crafter bots, but I'm trying to save my money right now. Uh, let me take a look at this uh, trader. Now, I don't really see a lot that we need from this guy. We sold auto sales, sold a few things. We have 6,200 cloth, so I'm not really worried about that. I mean, we don't have any hemp forever, but look at all that cloth we have. So I'll just go on and accept that. That's no big deal. So area revealed just from us mining stuff out down here. A transport pod crash, which I didn't see, and the person is already dead. Uh, visitors, textile trader, uh, these trade reports, confusion, and the Garillon pod sprout. I don't know why these aren't getting moved in. Did I not? properly set my no we're home and kill box anyway they'll go get them here in a minute i guess all right guys well it's been a great episode we got our all of our um ideology roles done there is one thing that i want to do in between episodes uh i'm gonna put this this is gonna block this door i'm gonna move this door like i don't know right here and we're going to let me go on and do a p we're gonna disassemble these um, and get rid of these, and then I'll move these uh, lights over here. Where did I move that door? Right? No, nope, not the door. Cancel. I want to disassemble that wall right there. All right, we need another uh, another oil well. We're we've got plenty of chem fuel, which I would like to move these outdoors. In fact. But we don't, before I get distracted, we don't have a lot of crude. So I want to do another well and make it out of crude. We also, once we get our power room done, we really, really, really need to, you know what? We might do them now. We really need to do circuit breakers because we're going to have an issue. I'm just telling you, we're, we're going to have an issue. So let's go on and do two 12K circuit breakers. That'll hold us for a little bit. Uh, there are bigger ones, but obviously we don't need them right now. Um, so between episodes, we've got all this to mine out. I'll probably start doing artificial flooring over here. We do have that out of synthaline, um, but I'll leave some so that you guys can see how it's done. It's actually not done very hard at all. And I'll go on and mark this out for mining. That'll give us tons and tons of stuff to do during uh between episodes uh when we come back we also ought to have concertina wire out here hopefully and then uh yeah we'll start working on all this we've got our throne room our ideology we got our kitchen we got our freezer we got our pods we got to do um we've got to finish this out once our research gets done which we're still working on that stuff probably going to need to make a couple more of these at some point we just don't have a lot of good researchers right now unfortunately i don't know why 
the researchers were not set. No wonder. Oh my gosh, RimWorld. Why? Why? Anyway, now maybe people will actually start uh start doing some research and we can start moving forward. So I guess this episode was just a building and reorganization issue. We did get this done. I would like to get tables built down here. In fact, you know what? Let's go on and get all this done before we leave. Uh, cause we know, we know we're, we're going to want to do it later. Um, we have, um, 192 Chalcedony. I believe, let me see, 95, that's 190. I can do two Chalcedony two by four tables and have just barely, um, like a little bit left. And then we're also going to want, um, what else have we got? Don't oh, kill that. What else have we got over here? Um, we have serpentine and turquoise. All right. So let's do a serpentine. Oh, you're not going to let me do it out of serpentine. Okay. Well, I'll do a turquoise poker table that ought to fit. And then can I do, why can't I do? That is serpentine. Citrine. I'm sorry. So we'll do a citrine um, billiards table right there. Do I have telescopes out? I do not. Let's put a couple of telescopes out for our guys. In fact, I'll do three of them. I don't want to do shooting targets or anything yet, but let's do a citrine chess table. We can do it. Like right there, and then we'll have a turquoise game of Ur right beside it. And then for seats, we're just going to do regular cloth armchairs. All right. I have that. That is a lot of stuff, man. All right, so we'll need to disassemble all of that. These are going to end up needing to be moved down here. I, I want to do a walk-in food freezer rather than the... Uh, uh, there goes my brain again today. Other than the refrigerator system that we're using, I'm going to go on and move this because going to require so much hauling to actually move all this stuff so and then contrary to what i just said we're going to put two more freezers down the walk-in freezer is probably not going to be done for an episode or two i'm assuming so you know we're going to have to have somewhere to put stuff for now and then this is going to be our recreation room. We'll start working on board games and all of that. Hopefully, we will get some more traders in where we can get some additional uh, weapons. What I'd like to do is wait until there's a raid and just bomb these with, like, I don't know, some high explosives or something and activate them and make the raiders fight them for us. But So next episode, I would like to get some flooring done. I would like to start on, depending on how our... Uh, uh, our mining goes. I'd like to get uh, our power moved and a few other things. I see we're having a Tui and Flinch down here having a, um, a social fight. So a gift, uh, Ruby. I'll always take some gemstone, man. Uh, Ordonos is throwing a party. And Pristine Marines found it. You know what? There's one important thing that we forgot to do this episode that I've got to do before we sign out and that is are you ready give me that drum roll the tech seven drop ship yes sir ladies and gentlemen that sucker is 4500 steel 350 gold 6000 silver and 20 components with a instruction needed of 14. but you know what that means ladies and gentlemen is that we now have flight and we can get out and start doing some raids and other stuff that we need to get done. So guys, I will see you on the other side on episode 12. Really appreciate you guys showing up. You have a great day. Peace out.